Blender 2.83 it's been out for a while it's again an amazing update for the free 3D software we all love and today we're gonna take a look at the newly integrated VR scene inspection add-on at first I thought it was just a headline feature and a gimmick to play with for a few minutes but I quickly discovered that especially for architectural visualization it's an incredibly valuable tool to visualize your projects in virtual reality opens up to a faster design process, to clever design choices, it helps to avoid mistakes earlier in the pipeline and it can definitely be used as a selling tool with clients. So let's see how it works and what we can do with this first iteration of the add-on. <laughs> It's Nadza here, founder at My Design. If you like the content, please leave a like, subscribe, and feel free to contact me on different social media. I really like to engage with all of you to help you out whenever I can and to learn a lot from your experiences. To activate the add on, you just need to jump into preferences and then uh, add ons and you can look for VR and enable it you will find a new tab for VR and this is the um, interface and the different options we will go through so in the upper part we have a long start VR session uh, button and then the positional tracking uh, on and off switch with that we can take advantage of the positional tracking of our VR headset and then we can enable the floor and the annotations in the VR view and we can also um, set the start and, and clipping for the view that we are able to see uh, once we wear the headset in the lower part of the interface we have the viewport feedback area where we can uh, toggle on and off the uh, vr camera and the vr session mirror so the first option allow us to see a representation of the um, live camera that is moved by our headset and the second option allow us to preview what the the user is seeing inside of the headset we can see directly uh, the same view um, in the blender viewport and then we have the landmarks area in the middle where we can mark different point of view and guide the user in the VR experience. Always in the landmark area we can decide also if we want to use the selected camera in the scene or if we want a specific camera and set it manually by name. So in our case for this house it's really handy and will put different vistas and different point of interest uh, for the different areas of our home. The scene that we will navigate today, it's an early stage project of uh, our studio. We got the SketchUp 3D model, I cleaned a bit the imported file and then I prepared a quick EV baked light pass. The first thing we already see here is how immersive and immediate is the filling of the space. Uh, I already prepared uh, different landmarks, so we are jumping back and forth from the patio to uh, the main corridor at the uh, ground floor. And then we have uh, this interesting top view and I prepared uh, all the roof area 
uh, on a different collection so I can hide it quickly and I can look at the um, space and different rooms inside the house directly from the top interactively and looking around um, looking at the horizon it's just a plain HDR for now but it's looking really nice unfortunately through a video I can't convey the real immersion experience um, you can have with a virtual reality headset uh, of course if you tried it uh, you know what I mean, but in this case I really want to put the accent on the importance of this immersion for architectural visualization. It's incredible to have this tool so early in the process. I'm in my main modeling tool and I can put on my VR headset and I can jump inside of the space. I can visualize the uh, scale of it and uh, I can really have a sense of the project. So all of this is really beneficial for the speed and the uh, work done on the project and the fast iteration that can be done with tools like this. As you can see with show VR camera option activated we have this uh, blue outline uh, camera moving around when uh, we have the VR session going and we are not mirroring the VR session from our headset. We can easily um, copy cameras, position new cameras and then save new landmarks um, pointing to these new cameras so it's really fast to have a view from many different uh, positions and many different situations around the place let's position for example also a new camera at the entrance so we have um, a sense of the front of the house again a new landmark and then uh, we can jump directly into VR, put on the headset and we are there, it's amazing. I cannot say it enough, it's just another thing, it's amazing, that's it. With positional tracking on, um, we can move a bit around and the camera and the environment will follow us in a way it's also super interesting that we can use every um, visualization method we like in blender we can see in solid mode we can see uh, in wireframe we can view with um, x-ray toggle on or off so we can experience our spaces our buildings, our creations, our projects with total freedom and creativity. The process in our case is then to move everything into a real engine. Um, here just a sneak peek of the project moving on and evolving um, inside a game engine. This was a quick look at the uh, VR session add-on for Blender. It's directly integrated in the new 2.83 version. It's incredible, it's amazing and for architectural visualization it's a really invaluable tool. Download the new Blender version, enable this add-on, have fun, enjoy it and uh, see you to the next one. Thank you.